This is this is Capital Spotlight Core, episode one. This is Capital Core. This is Capital Core Spotlight One. Capital. Nah, that shit hot. That shit hot. Capital One Chords. Ca- Capital Spotlight Chords. Episode one. Come on. Here we go. It's rock so you sliding up. <laughs> it's rock so you signing out with Capital One Chords episode one. Click here to subscribe. <laughs> I did it. What a Where the fuck do I keep saying Capital One for? <laughs> you will rock this at Capital Spotlight Productions. Slam. First question, who is Raxo? Who is Mir Rax? Shit. Mir Rax, he just a regular cool nigga that we just cool and rapping, trying to do what everybody else trying to do, trying to make it out. I be cool with bro. I really be dead and like, I be staying in my lane though. Like, I don't be messing with nobody. Like, I wanna say, don't believe everything you say on, see on the blogs. Like, Mir Rax really be cool and like, I really be chilling. I really be dead off a lot of situations. What do you think is the biggest thing that separates Raxo from the rest of the DMV? My talent, that's so young. Like the way I be pushing harder than like people that already have been rapping for so long. I give you that extra push, like video after video, bar after bar. Like I be coming different from a lot of rappers in the DMV. From, from my age off the gate, I'm just setting an example that you could do anything. Like from my age, from being so young, you could do anything. Like so, I, I'm, I'm just trying to show like off the rap, you can show the youngers that your dream is what you really could chase. Like if that's really what you want, you could real get it. I'm just gonna set the tone to the youngers and real chase their dream. Biggest snake in the world, where that come from? Like, biggest snake in the world. Yeah, I just adapted to my habitat. You know I me. Mean? Like, I always been calling, like, double S. Like, we always been calling ourselves Slime this whole time. Like, where Slime come from? Snake. And, like, I'm just the biggest one. Like, I'm the biggest one. Like, we all snakes. Like, everybody that's double S, we snakes. So I'm just the biggest one, though. So, I know that a lot of people are aware that you weren't actually born in the DMV. You were actually born in Pittsburgh. Did your lifestyle in Pittsburgh affect how you move now like has any of that carried on with you like what effect has Pittsburgh have on you now from being in DMV I don't really got no effect on me like I moved out of Pittsburgh when I was like five like as a kid though but like that's cause like my father from down there but my mother moved up here it don't really got no effect on me cause everything I know everything I like move around is down here in Merlin so like everything in Pittsburgh like I know my way around it, but like, I don't know Pittsburgh like how I know Merlin like off the back of my hand. And, and I ain't really lose nothing from like Pittsburgh or not. Like, where I reside is Merlin now. And I'm from Merlin. So, this is a personal one for me. The bar, take your risk to get rich. That would mean something to me. That's a big yeah. bar. What'd you mean when you said that? Like, shit, and living. Like, anything you doing, like, you could be, you could be shooting videos, you could be rapping, you could be out there selling drugs. You could be out here, real estate, anything. You don't ever want to stay in that same position forever. Like, anything you doing, you're going to have to take a risk to get up. Like, don't nobody get up off just doing the same thing every day. Like, you're not going to get far doing the same thing every day. You're going to have to do something. Like, a risk don't have to be, like, something bad. Like, you could be taking a risk by, like, Doing something you you wasn't doing that whole month of working, like do something that they never seen, probably get you promoted. Like you gotta take a risk and living if you wanna get far in life. You're not gonna get far in life just sitting in the same spot every day. So if you have one at all, who would you say is a big role model on how you move? Who's a big role model on how I move? I really say myself for real. Like I be looking up to myself to make sure myself do good. You don't get too far looking up or chasing after somebody else's dream. For if you had to list five rules that you based your character around, what would they be? Five moves. Five moves to base my character around. I say respect, loyalty. You can't be selfish. Get up and get it. Fifth. Just stay 
style and be you for Besides yourself and music, who else would you say you listen to? A lot of out of town rappers, for real. Like Lil Pala, Lil BP, Young Boy, and shit like that. I be listening to people down here, like local, like my men, like Cardi Watt. I be listening to all the DMV rappers, like, I listen to everybody music, for real. I don't be picking through people's music, like, oh, I ain't about to listen to his song. I'm not about to listen to his song. I listen to people that diss me, like, I listen to all the music. In times of right now, compared to when you started rapping, how's it go? Like when I first started, bro, I was getting like 4K views a month, like two, three months. Like I really like climbed up here, video after video. Like I can name two producers that like helped me and get up there. Like I don't think he stopped making beats, but he probably slowed down. You know his name, Bump Son, and then you got Double Eye. Like them two, they kind of caught my rap flow. Made beats around the way I rap. I made all like most of my songs that I like all my songs that probably blew up. At the end of the day, without a producer, you ain't gonna get the job done. So you gotta treat the producer just like the rapper. I be giving producers they respect because I like notice how they got life too. Like they dealing with the same thing we going through. Like, like you can't push over nobody. Like it's like a team. Like any producer, I be. Logging in with or record with, I treat them like family because you got to. Because that's who recorded the song. That's the only way the song going to come together. What really kept me pushing and helped me elevate is like, whatever you drop got to be like the best. Like Full Q, Full Q KP. I was shooting with him like when he first started. And when I first started, I seen that he was the best cameraman like shooting. So I was straight locked in with him. Like to go up and elevate, you got it. Like whatever you put out, gotta be the best. Like from when I first started from right here, what kept me pushing is the views. Like I was going up, dropping videos. People real reposting, like going up. In the DMV, what rappers you fuck with? Shit. I listen to my man, I watch, Cruddy. I listen to my man, Swag, Money Swag. I'm saying he's crazy. I've been listening to like a lot of rappers. I'm just gonna be like, they ain't driving for real. I be listening to TD Ray my whole time. Send me home and shit. Like, they dropped the song with Kenny on the dance floor? Nah, it ain't, ain't dropped, but that's on emotion. Did you leak it? I think I seen something about it on Instagram. It was supposed to drop when I was locked up, but we about to do something else with it. We got something planned for it, basically. So we got, like, slow it down, do something. Not doing something else, but we just putting it together. So. How is your support system when going through music? Did your family support you? Did your friends support you? Or? Yeah, a lot of people support me. Shit, my mother be even be listening to my music. Nah, for real, though. Shit, my man, they love that. Like, anytime I go to the studio, they press me. Like, why you ain't send me the song you just made? Like, my man ain't on that. Like, everybody around me, they, they be pushing me. Like, you the ticket. Like, you gotta rap. You gotta rap. Like, you gotta rap. Only thing you should be doing is rapping. I fell back from a lot of stuff. Like, I just a straight rapper. Everybody around me just helped me rap for real. When I first started, nobody on that. But now I'm like, when you mention Maryland rappers, you gotta mention me now. Nah, I can't lie, man, Rex. You been rapping for a minute. You got any crazy fan experiences? Nah, I, I do though. I do though, bro. I was at the airport. It was this Migo nigga. He keeps staring at me though. Whole time he keeps staring at me like, my man, like, why Mo keep like staring at me? Whole time he walk up to me, he like, but I know you mean right. I'm like, yeah, that's me. Whole time he like, but I just want a picture. Whole time I'm at the airport though, like way out G8 though. Like people be knowing me everywhere. Like I be walking in the stores, everybody walking up to me. Like I ain't gonna say everybody, but like aliens, people be walking up to me like, you mean right? I'm like, yeah. Whole time. They be trying hard at me. They be like, I fuck with rest whole time. Everybody be saying that's their favorite song. It's Rock So You signing out with Capital Spotlight Cools, episode one. Click here to subscribe. Snap. I did it right. Yeah.